we could probably talk for hours about what it means to have equal justice under the law. At one time, slavery, brutal child labor, segregation, workforce exploitation, and similar atrocities were the law of the land in America. Perhaps equal justice under the law is best assured by our country's ability to correct itself through democracy and governmental checks and balances. Whether our moral compass seems out of whack or we seem to be getting things right as a country, stare decisis is a vital legal doctrine. The Latin phrase means to stand by that which is decided. It represents the tradition of adhering to legal precedent. Pursuant to the doctrine of stare decisis, American courts adhere to prior legal decisions in similar cases. Yet, many Americans seem to think they can count on a court properly adhering to precedent about as much as they can count on winning a slot machine jackpot. But is that just a ranting of disgruntled litigants? Hello, you're listening to Zena Crenshaw Logal, author of Exploring the Vitality of Stare Decisis in America. My book reports on the Matthew Fogg Symposia on the Vitality of Stare Decisis in America, which debuted in 2011 at the University of Baltimore. Grassroots Good Government Advocates joined a distinguished panel of public interest attorneys and law professors to consider whether appropriate adherence to stare decisis is reasonably assured in America given certain prescribed factors. Hopefully you will agree that my book is about much more than a legal doctrine. It examines the administration of justice in America, not simply to showcase its strength or flaws, but to determine whether it ultimately enshrines the rule of law. To a certain extent, questionable departures from legal precedent are an unavoidable byproduct of human frailty. Nobody's perfect. But the Fogg Symposia and my corresponding book series should make clear that shoring up American courts entails avidly championing and vigilantly chastening our judiciary. At stake is much more than an occasional miscarriage of justice. In fact, the integrity of America's legal education system and its administration of justice depends on the kind of discussion that retired Chief Deputy U.S. Marshal Matthew Fogg has made possible. I hope you join us by securing your copy of Exploring the Vitality of Stare Decisis through Universal Publishers, Amazon.com, or at Barnes & Noble. Thank you for your consideration.